Hey guys, Corey here, the Art Archaeologist, and welcome back to another paint pouring video. So today, once again, I'm using my acrylic pouring paint set by Hippie Crafter. And what I'm doing today, by the way, this is a 24 color set, and they come in these really cool little um, two fluid ounce, 59 mil bottles of pre-mixed professional artist paints. So that is listed in the description box below. So what I'm doing today are these three four by 12 inch canvases getting my gloves put on here. And then what I've done here is just put thumbtacks on the bottom to make them equal and to raise them up so that the paint can drip underneath. The colors I've chosen to do today for this set, and I'm gonna be doing this all as a co cohesive set together. I'm gonna be using the Meta Hippie Crafter Metallic Gold and their Mars Black. Those are the two colors from them I'll be using. And then I mixed up a bunch of my white, and I get this at Michael's. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. It's still pretty thick though. And um, now that I'm getting my poured paint groove back, I remembered that I don't um, the only time I want to add water is if I'm using a blow dryer and today I will not be using a blow dryer so that part will not be necessary but what I did was I took my flow trawl I love this product I used to use it all the time as a faux finish artist and it is what this stuff does is it's a paint extender it it uh keeps the integrity of the chemical makeup of the paint while thinning it out. So it gives your paint flow and it protects your chemicals. So I have mixed these two one to one. I added the tiniest bit of the blaster silicone lubricant. Now these do not have any um, cell making additives to them which I actually love because I want control over the cells. Sometimes I don't want cells at all and while these are drying I'm going to show you a few sets that I've done in the past. So I'm going to just start with one and then we'll keep moving forward. Here we go.
So I wanted to point this out to you. This is my absolute favorite poured paint artist, and it's hard because there are a lot out there. But this gal here, Rinsky Downa, and I could be mispronouncing it, but um, she is where I learned about the hair dryer technique. And um, I've always had to do my paint a little bit thinner to accommodate that technique. Now these were before I knew about the hair dryer and they were a little thicker. So if your paint's a little thick and your hair dryer's not moving it, take it as a lesson learned, but don't throw away your progress. Just grab a spreader and um, you can spread the paint a little bit. You don't want to do too much because you'll get mud and then you can also tilt. These were made with uh, black, burnt sienna, and turquoise, and I made these so long ago that I could not even tell you um, what brands I used. It's all acrylic craft paint, and I'm hoping you can see the intricacies of these. They're lovely. So like I was saying, these were done uh, before. I did these for a show for an exhibit that I had a few years ago. And I'm going to go ahead and explore this technique with the Hippie Crafter paints. So look for that in the near future. I have, I'm going to show you in a sec to my right, you can see a little of it. I've got some more of these canvases. These are really nice canvases. These are 4 by 12 inch. And the sides just come out gorgeous. To, in order to get really good sides like this, you want to pay attention to getting a lot of paint on your sides when you first do your initial. Now what I did with these was I laid down a base color and then I did the other colors and poured them and spread and um, tilted them around. But you want to make sure that your sides are wet in order to give that paint um, an avenue to flow. Now, here's how this comes. These are Artist Loft um, canvases, and I get these at Michael's. And um, the thing that I've noticed about these every time, and I'm sure you can see it, you see that how the canvases are warped? So what you want to do, all is not lost. In fact, there's a very easy fix for this. You just want to take these all out of the package, of course, and then I soak the back side with water. I get a bunch of water in there with just an old paintbrush, an old chip brush, something a little wider than this. And I really get it that water down into the fibers. And you want to get into the crevices of your canvas because what will happen is when that and then I let it sit overnight and then it will dry and it will stretch all of these taut. So this is a very easy fix. The only problem with it, and it's quite aggravating, is that you have to let it sit overnight if your canvases are like this. So <clears throat> when I go shopping for these, I rarely find any that don't have this issue. And I think it's a packing and a shipping problem is what I think happens. So just get to it, get them unwrapped, get them saturated with water, and then the next day you'll be ready to go. So I wanted to show you two more sets that I've done. And this really is before I was serious about my channel. And um, I, I had amazing, lovely results. Now the thickness of this paint here is the same consistency as the Hippie Crafter paints. It's a little bit thicker, but you want it to be uh, a little even too thick because if you do the hair dryer method, your your first coat is going to be the most important. And I could really say that about 
um, whether you use the hair dryer or not because when you spread you want a first coat down to give these paints something to be able to give them you know be able to make them travel but aren't these beautiful this reminds me of ice cream this just <laughs> it makes me want ice cream chocolate vanilla and strawberry um, I had done a little bit of the silicone in my white and that was the only color I believe that I added silicone to and I wish I could tell you guys the colors I used on these but um, my secret is don't go over five colors and I think that works really well because then you can you can move tip your canvases these were tipped these were only spread and tipped okay and um, five colors to me is max I have never done a dirty pour like you see where they put all the colors in a cup I think it's amazing and I've just never gotten around to doing it I may do it in the future I really want to do some more like this so here's this set and then I've got one more to show you here these were so much fun to make this set here now look I made these all the way back in 2017 so um these are my aquatic ocean set and you can easily get these out of the hippie crafter paints and I'm going to show you that in the future I will do a few more poured painting videos I have a big lineup for my channel so if you haven't subscribed yet I invite you to that way when I do all of these you will be alerted okay and in the meantime just go wild on YouTube with the poured painting videos because there is a wealth of them now these are here's what's so magical and why I like to keep under five I really prefer to do three colors this is black white and blue only only three colors all of these gray shades of course came from the black and white mixing together all of the lighter and darker shades of blue came from them mixing with the black and the white there is a lot to be said for not using too many colors there's also a lot to be said for using a lot of colors I've seen people do it very successfully uh, for some reason I'm kind of afraid of it though I tend to stay right around three colors I actually took an old table and prepped it and I pour painted the top of the table with this color combo and it came out so beautiful I sold that table but it looked like um, you were flying over the ocean looking down on the ocean that table came out so cool so these deep sided canvases really do give you an opportunity to make your piece of artwork a three-dimensional marvel really I love these deep sided canvases so I'm going to come right back and show you our dried painting for today Okay guys, so I got a new microphone and I went to plug it in and it's not working. So I'm going to have to go back to the old school bad sound quality. I apologize. Um, here is one I went ahead and did and I wanted to show you the difference. It's a massive difference between the two. You get so much more depth and just interest in your piece when you add that top coat so there's that so let's just go ahead and do this I keep it very simple I just put some of this 
Duraclair right on the piece itself. Now you want to use a smooth brush like I'm using. You want your bristles to all be uniform together and smooth to minimize brush strokes. This, you can also use a roller. A roller works beautifully. If you do go ahead and use a brush like this, you probably will get um, a tiny bit of brush strokes, but it's going to be very minimal. And the way to fix that is to just give it two or three coats, which is usually necessary anyway. So there's that top coat there. And then... You definitely want to do your sides because these deep canvases are so gorgeous with the sides done as well and same thing just real keep it simple I like to keep things simple and I like to work fast so it's really that simple to get an amazing beautiful sheeny finish to really pull out all of the detail of your work. So if you like these, I really invite you to check out hippiecrafter.com. They are linked below in the description box and they have an amazing line of products and I just love this paint set here and the thing I there's two things I three things actually that I love the most about this paint set one they're pre-mixed two the colors are really vibrant and three they do not have any kind of additive to make cells I want to have control over that myself so I'm really glad that this kit does not have that in it that way I can add um, my own silicone and make cells as I wish. So they are again linked in the description box below and I hope you check them out and have yourself a wonderful day. I'll see you real soon.